I got this in and I was really excited about it. I have three forced air dryers. One's a stand up and two are handheld, but they're not handheld like this. They're not small. Um, and so they're not like awesome for traveling. So I was really excited about this one. And this one is both really cool and really disappointing at the same time. And here's why. So it is, it is really small um, and handheld obviously. And it, it has these three attachments here. So um, from that perspective, it's great. The attachments go on super easy and they're sturdy, so that's great. And it has a nice cord to it, so really good. And the buttons here are really easy to um, use. The, <laughs> the downside is the noise. So this is my dog who is used to a forced air dryer and I just cut his fur down, but it was really long. And so I would use the forced air dryer to dry him off and to blow out, um, you know, his coat change and um, just grass and stuff. So I just, I just did his paws, but um, I had wanted to use the forced air dryer. So as soon as I turned it on, it made this high pitch noise. And, um, and again, he's used to a forced air dryer. Yeah. So the problem with that is that I'd had him on a grooming table in order to use it for blowing out his paws and he literally tried to jump off the grooming table. Now he's never done that before and again I have three other forced air dryers. So there's something about the pitch and the tone of this particular dryer that um, irritates both the dogs. They run out of the room literally and he had a he had a um, uh, a leash around his neck and you know so he was secured on the table but he still tried to get off the table thankfully I was standing right there and caught him before he get too far so like I said it is really cool this thing has a lot of force to it especially for such a small item it's great it's handy um, but unfortunately the pitch of the noise is so irritating to the, to the dogs um, it's not usable for me, not for that anyways.